Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeremiah with Bullfrog Air Guns. Um, here today to talk about the Yonghing 4500 PSI compressor. You can use it to fill up your PCP guns, your scuba tanks, or your paintball tanks, whatever you're filling, um, most likely PCP. Uh, I had the option that everybody does to either go with a hand pump, a scuba tank, or the compressor. Scuba tank, you have to have filled somewhere if you don't have your own compressor, like an air shop or a, I heard the fire station or whatever. Um, I mainly shoot at home, so I haven't had the need to go mobile yet. Eventually I will have a scuba tank. For now I'm just filling my guns at home, so the compressor works perfectly for me. A um, couple downsides to the, the, the compressor. One is the this is the whip and the filter it comes with. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty small. Um, all it has in it is this little foam cotton piece to stop all of the oil, water, and dirt from getting inside uh, your gun or your tank. So that's one downside. The other downside is you have to have a bucket of water that you have a water pump going in to feed water through it to cool it and back into the bucket. So that became pretty annoying having to pull that out, set that up, break it down, whatnot, every time I fill my gun. So those are the two downsides to it. Um, what I've done to fix those downsides is I added a secondary filter, which you can find tons of them online for all, prices all over the board. Um, I went with this one because it has a three-stage filter. It's got some silica beads, some clay beads, and uh, carbon. So there's a lot more filtration, stopping a lot more moisture, oil, or dirt that would be going into the gunner tank. And I still have the original whip with the uh, little tiny filter connected because it's convenient to just open that up real quick and I can check if there's any dirt, oil, or moisture that's made it this far, knowing whether or not I need to change anything and whatnot. So that fixes that downside. Um, the other downside was I just got this table which was uh, free I just found it on offer up so ended up drilling holes through here running the tubes down so I have the bucket down below that makes it a lot easier um, I have some hooks hanging that I'll show you in a second here uh, for the water pump and the, the outlet hose so then I can just hang them let them drip and then when it's done I can dump the bucket until I need to refill it again so that's what I've done to alleviate the uh, two, I don't know, I guess you'd say the two issues that I found with this. So, Okay, so when you get this, obviously you're going to have to fill it with oil. Um, there is a warning label and a little plug right here on the top of this. And so you're going to chuck that, fill it, really easy to see right here with the window, your oil level, as well as... Uh, the color of your oil and so you can tell if it needs to be changed if it's dirty or whatnot. Um, as far as the oil goes, I highly recommend using the uh, Royal Purple Sin Film. Um, once again, you can find that online all over the place. Um, that was highly recommended to me. It's worked well. I would recommend it to others. Um, my, I haven't had any problems with my compressor and I've been using it for several months now. So yeah. Um, let me show you how this thing works. Okay, so this tube is connected to the water pump. This tube just runs back into the bucket that the water pump is in. Here's where you set whatever pressure, PSI right there, I have it set just below 200 bar. Here's the thermometer. One of the things that when I ordered this was it did not have a thermometer. So I had to return it. They sent me a new one rather than just sending me a new thermometer. The second one didn't have one either. It took me three, by the third time it finally had a thermometer. So make sure you get your thermometer if you're going off of uh, Amazon or really anywhere for that matter. So once you get this, you got everything plugged in, everything tightened down. Um, you've got your water pump. I have it hanging there. You get that down in the water, and then the outlet hose back on. Run the power to that. 
that'll keep cooling the uh, compressor while you're running it. So pretty easy, simple stuff. Um, I'll show you real quick. My gun is not low. It's probably got like a shot low on it just so it doesn't take too long on the video to fill here. But you just want to put your fill probe in your gun. Okay. You have your pressure already set here. Here on the side is a bleed screw. So I have that loose. I'm going to turn this on. I'll tighten the bleed screw. the bleed screw to relieve all the pressure before you try opening up or removing the fill probe so release the pressure turn this off now that my pressure is gone you can safely remove this you do not want to pull the probe out before you release the bleed screw so I would say that's probably one of the rookie mistakes a lot of people make is they don't know to tighten that down in the beginning before they start filling or to release that before they fill, pull the fill probe. So that's basically it. Um, that's how it works. I'm really happy with it. And uh, I really like this setup down here. So the bucket's just out of my way. Um, some people will tell you to put ice in the bucket. I don't do that. I don't, I haven't felt the need to do that. I honestly just think that will cause more condensation and more moisture within the pump system. Um, people have told me that that is not true, that they have not had condensation. However, I just haven't felt the need to test it myself. So, okay guys, so that's pretty much how the Yang Hing works. Um, hopefully that helps some people out in either making a decision on what to buy or um, what not, so, or how to use it. So uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like this video and share. I really appreciate it and uh, have fun shooting and I'll see you guys next time.